Hey guys, James here today and welcome to the overview video of Aluna Island version 0.4. Now the first change that you'll see is of course new icon. They always have a new icon and a little version number update. But the second most important thing is the fact that I've got it installed alongside of 0.3, which means that you no longer have to uninstall previous versions. So you can have a previous version installed and install a new version. And that was thanks to a comment uh, on the last, uh, on version 0.3, someone uh, linked me to the information about how to do that, uh, which I'm very thankful for. So thank you for that. That means we can install both versions at the same time. So let's go ahead and jump into it and then I'll show you the rest of the changes. Uh, mostly this time around, it's just cosmetic changes. Uh, there were pretty much no bugs reported. Uh, at least I didn't see any like, uh, quote, real bugs. And when I say that, I mean, like, some people were saying, oh, if you dig down, your lot fills with water. But that's not a bug. That's just what happens. If, if you dig down on lots that are low-lying, they will fill with water because of the ocean height. You have to dig down on higher lots like this one up here, and it'll be fine. So that's not really a bug. That's just something that's unpreventable. Uh, right. Here we are. We're in the world. Uh, at first glance, it doesn't look any different, but there are some differences. Um, which you may have noticed if you are very keen-eyed. Uh, and that is, there's a new little beach down over there. Uh, let's go edit town. And we'll actually see there's some new lots. Oh, hang on, there's some in the middle of the ocean as well. What is going on here? Uh, right, so I added nine new lots in this version. There are nine new lots. So now there's a total of 70 lots. Uh, and I think that's going to stay there. I don't think I'm going to add any more. I have no plans to add any more because otherwise that's just too much. <laughs> that's just too much. There's not enough room to add that many lots. Uh, 70 is probably 99.95% going to be the final number of lots. But anyways, let's go through them. So there's four new beach lots. And let's have a look at those first. So let's jump into this one down here. This one is called Palm Beach. This is a little beach community lot. There's nothing on it yet. I'll probably add something later. Not much though. Uh, and we've got this cool little pathway that comes down here. So it comes down from the road up the top and you sim can run down and around to this little beach. So it's just a nice little beach lot here. Uh, it's off the edge of this road here where we've got one. That, that's actually properly renamed now all these lots, by the way. So that's one Cliff's Edge Walk, two and three. Because uh, I think there were some naming issues before, but I fixed all that kind of stuff up. Uh, anyways, so yeah, new little beach lot there. That's one of them. And we've got another one around the corner over here, if we jump into this one. Uh, here we go. So this one is just next to the school, because I, I figured we had this whole, all this cliff area down the bottom here that was being uh, like underutilized. So I think this is actually four cliffs edge walk, because we have one, two, and... Oh, sorry, one over there, two, three, and this is four. Uh, I think... Is this classified as a community lot? It is, but you could easily change that into a residential lot and build something really cool there. So yeah, it is, it is four cliffs edge walk indeed. Uh, and if we go around, another beach lot has appeared over here. It's a Luna Drive Beach. Uh, this one is classified as residential, but again, of course, you could change it into community if you want. This one is just next to lot number one, which is a 64 lot. This is actually just a nice little beach lot off the coast there. And a new little area they've sort of extended. Uh, and then our final beach lot is actually over here, which is 16 Ocean Parkway. I've actually renumbered all of the lots along Ocean Parkway because, because I, added, I added a couple in here, actually, which we'll go into in just a moment. Anyway, let's jump into this one, 16 Ocean Parkway, the fourth beach lot here. Just a nice little spot here off the sort of main road with a little pathway coming toward it. Uh, which I thought was quite a nice little area. Uh, now we have two new lots that are in the ocean. So we have two areas that you can build uh, dive lots for Island Paradise. There's been a, a large request uh, to add dive lots in. So I've done that. And these still work, these work in base game as well. I've tested it. The world is still 100% compatible in base game. Um, you just won't be able to make a cool dive lot. You could, you could easily turn it into an island if you wanted to. Anyway, this one's called a lunar reef. There's nothing in it right now. It's just a blank lot. If we, if we go down a level into the ocean floor, you can see you can build in here. It's quite a large lot. There's tons of space if you wanted to build a really cool... I, I really do want to see what you guys do with this. I want to see some awesome dive lots. Uh, I think it's going to be amazing to see what you guys come up with. Uh, so that's one of the dive lots there. Uh, how big was that one? That is 64 by 40, so it's quite large. Uh, and then we have another one out over here, 40 by 40. It's called Guillermo's. Uh, oh, it's actually Guillermo. Guillermo? Yeah, I think it's Guillermo. I don't know why. I said Guillermo just because I was reading it. Yeah, uh, anyways. Um, yeah, there's another one out here. 40 by 40 in the ocean. So we can have up to two dive lots in the world, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we have two new cliff lots. You may have already seen one of them, which was over there. Uh, we have another one right here, actually. It's kind of a weird spot to do it. Uh, I've called it Nate Bay because that road there doesn't actually have a name. Uh, and I'm calling this little bay area Nate, Nate, uh, because that one's called Nate Beach, where a lunar promenade is. Anyways, in Nate Bay, if we go into this one, 
Uh, it's it's actually, it, I think it'd be a very challenging lot to build on. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this one as well. Uh, because you've only got a very finite area of flat space here. And then the rest is just pure cliff and you've got a little bit of ocean down the bottom here to build in. But I think that's going to be really interesting to see what you guys do with that one. Uh, and I can't wait to see it. Um, and then the other cliff lot was over here. This one here, 15 Ocean Parkway. And this is kind of a cool little tiered effect, I think. So you could have part of the house up there, part of the house down there. And you do have a tiny bit of beach uh, on this section here. You guess you could level out some more of that. I think, it, I'm not sure how far out into the water it goes. Uh, actually, let's just grab out of here. Okay, so it goes out to about there. So you can do a little bit out in the water. It's quite nice. So that's the second cliff lot. And then we have one new semi-flat lot. I say semi-flat lot because it's not completely flat. But it's over here. Uh, 25 Ocean Parkway. It's obviously it's not 100% flat, but it's a new lot that's somewhat flat that just goes into this little bay area so you can build out there. And that's all nine new lots. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the changes in a Lunar Island version 0.4. Uh, and of course, there's obviously a few world decorations here and there. I think... Did I do any signs? At one point, I did have signs around the place. Uh, like I had like a beach sign there. But I think I removed them due to the fact... Well, firstly, my crater world crashed at one point, so I lost a lot of work and I had to redo it. Um, but then also because uh, they're not really defined as to what they're going to be yet, houses or beaches. Like I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, so I've kind of just left it as a blank canvas. Of course, I've added in a lunar lighthouse. Uh, no, it's not, it's not called a lunar lighthouse, was it? Oh, maybe it was. Probably was. Um, yeah, no, I think it was. Yeah, so I added this lot in here, uh, and that's a base game version of it. So you'd have to download the full version if you want to use that. That's a base game version lot that you can now use and play around with. And of course, the base game version of that lot is now available for download on my website as well. Uh, obviously, all the other lots I built in the world are there. Uh, but that's it for changes in Aluna Island v0.4. At least I think that's it. There may be some small things here and there. If you notice anything, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's it. Because I the thing is, I didn't write the change log as I was changing things. I was trying to remember it all when I was done. I was like, oh god, what did I do? Uh, but anyways, the major change is all the new lots. Uh, but anyways, download link is in the description, of course, so you can check it out. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new screenshots on the website as well, and the new map has been updated with all the new lot numbers and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyways, guys, enjoy this new version. Of course, you can install it alongside of your existing version, so that's really, really handy. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.